Welcome back to part two, and it's the square this time. More difficult than the circle, and obvious reasons the corners. So again, pure bristle, two inch brush, and the same paint. Now, starting near one of the corners, you don't want to obviously go straight for the line. You need to work the end of your brush up. Never easy. You can do it from uh, both sides. I mean, sometimes when it gets to something like this and you're doing it less accurate, you end up using smaller brushes and a mild stick to get the corners right. Well, that's not too bad for a two inch brush. about working them bristles to the end sometimes I've got a bristle there that's getting on my nerves so I'm just going to pull that out again it's not about starting in the corner it's about working into the corner with the bristles Practice makes perfect, basically. There's a bit of a lump in the paint there. But um, when I was a kid, and my dad being a painter, I used to come home from school, and I used to go into the shed and paint all the panels in the shed, different colours if I could and use whatever paint my dad had out and uh, just paint different colours on the panels and I used to do that for ages obsessed with paint I think. but doing stuff like this gives you the confidence when you come up to something difficult to cut in Not as easy as you think, just following a line. Especially when you've got 22,000 subscribers possibly watching. But 
tilt. I mean, sometimes with pure bristle brushes, the bristles end up not, because this is worn in slightly, so they're kind of slightly more beveled on the uh, edges rather than straight. That's the thing with synthetic brushes, you never lose that straight edge of the brush. And sometimes cutting in colours like this could be a lot easier with a synthetic which I am going to show you because um, obviously this is videos about pure bristle so the next videos are going to be on synthetic I say the uh, triangle is a bit more difficult um, but even so I'll just show you now some of these corners to get them sharper you'd turn to a small pencil brush and you can use a mild stick um, now the mild stick you place on the board and you can rest your hand on it which gives you total control on that end then you can just finish off edges now if you're sign writing perfect just finish off them corners was a bit of muck. Okay then, the last one, triangle. Now, I'm going to use a one inch brush to start with. Obviously, the triangle is more difficult than the square because the corners, you know, the, the angle closes in. Um, but, same principle. Can work your one inch brush as far up as you can you're not ever going to get it all the way but you know you can only do your best because what I'm going to do is turn to the uh, mild stick see the other side of the brush then it's um, touched over the line see triangle more difficult than you think so I'm gonna leave that there with the uh, one inch finish that with the mail stick and the pencil brush moving on to the two inch
real quiet. Up. All right, back to the one inch. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> This one inch <clears throat> isn't as broken as the two inch. So. A bit more difficult to use. Yep. So I'm going to finish the rest now with a mild stick and a pencil brush. <coughs> sometimes it's about working up to it rather than starting at it so working up to that point if you start at it you'll go over it's um, never easy I mean, even that there because I've already gone to the top with the left with the left hand side and come down So you can lift off as you get to the point. Yeah. Not easy, one bit. But it's practice and that's what you need to do. <clears throat> <clears throat> 